Hi guys, so we've dug out the welder because what we're going to do is we're going to do a tutorial with Dave. Hey. Dave is Luke's friend and he has, well he tells me, never welded in his life before and because he's got a trustworthy face, the kind of face I could buy a car from, I believe that he can't weld him. So we're going to do a tutorial. The idea being is, as we sort of go through with you Dave, doing this tutorial, um, but people who are watching it will hopefully have the same questions that are kind of in your head and have the same problems that you've got. So as you do it, and we do this little tutorial thing, hopefully it will pass that information along and people will be able to do their own thing with it. Okay, first things first, not to weld, you need a welder! So this thing's a piece of cake, okay? It weighs absolutely nothing because it's nice and new, have a feel. It's actually surprisingly light. Yeah, and you'll notice there's nothing up my sleeves. <laughs> and it's a... Um, Modern welder. Now, there's only two settings, or two things you can do on it, and that is plug something in there and turn it on, and that's all you can do. And what you plug in there are these bits here. One of them, it's got a little clamp on the end, that clamps onto your workpiece. And you'll notice there's a plus and there's a minus right there. <laughs> it does not matter which one it goes into. People will tell you it does. People will tell you you get a different feeling with it, it gets a different behaviour. Sometimes you should do it this way, sometimes you should do it that way. To be honest, I have found it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Just plug one in the minus and one in the plus. I kind of have a preference for um, negative being on the piece because kind of like an earth, you know, yeah. sort of thinking of it as going around. And then we can clamp that on there. And we're going to weld this nice thick plate because thick plate is the easiest thing to weld. Thin plate, it's a nightmare. You'll burn through it quick, it's quick. This one, dead easy to make mistakes, dead easy to weld on it. And the other thing you want is the actual bit itself. And obviously that goes in the positive. So just to give you a front view so you can see what's going on, there's the front panel, there's our negative, there's our positive, that's where these things go in, and they just jam in and twist, and they're in there. There's the amp control, and there's the little lights telling you that the thing is on. And these things are the welding rods, and you will notice there is two thicknesses. Thick one, thick metal, thin one, thin metal. And they all have a number at the bottom, and see that? E6013. Mm -hmm. That is the general rod you'll use for welding steel more or less all of the time. You can get different rods for different jobs and they'll have a different number on them. But that 6013 is the one you want. So if you look in there, you've got a little pattern. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. Sometimes you can hold the rod that way, sometimes ah. that way, sometimes that way. Just depends how you're trying to work on it and what's comfortable for you. Luke likes to hold it that way, I've got no idea why. <laughs> no, he, he, tends, he tends to do it like that, okay? I tend to do it like that. Just put what, whatever you get comfortable with, you know, whatever your personal preference is. Okay, you actually set up to weld from the weld inside of stuff. Now what happens when you weld is things get incredibly hot. And we're on a very pretty wooden bench, so we're just going to burn through it. All you like to do is stick it on a bit of ceramic. There we go. A little bit of ceramic saves us burning the bench down. Makes sense. Now then, we've got an amp set in here. Goes right the way from zero, right the way up to 300. If you're doing thick metal, you want it high. High just means a random guess that's sort of two thirds around because you've got no idea. Yeah. When you start to weld, if it burns through too quick, you just think, oh crap, and turn it down a bit, okay? Yeah. If you've got it on a thin bit, you start low, and I put it about a third, as you can see. Again, no idea, but if I touch that and it burns right the way through my thin metal, well, it's too high, so you turn it down a bit. So you make some random guess about where you want that to be. Right, the safety gear. Safety gear constitutes these, and these are beautiful. The nice, nice thick ones. leather gloves, yeah. And this thing, which is an auto dampening helmet. If you use this thing, which is an old <laughs> piece of tat that is not auto dampening, you can't see anything. You, you're like this, trying to work out what the hell it is. Have a look through, you can't see anything. It's black. It is black, yeah. <laughs> Once the arc strikes, you'll be able to see it. Until yeah. the arc strikes, you haven't got a clue, okay? So I'm going to do a quick weld and then it's your turn. Yeah. I'll stand out of the way. <coughs> so, gloves on, that on, that on. Make sure this aren't touching because, of course, they will arc. Yep. On with your helmet. Put your helmet on, please, mate. Yep. And all I'm going to do is strike an arc, which means I'm going to poke this bit of metal with this bit of rod and it will crackle, okay? Okay. But that's all I'm going to do, and that's what strike it up means. Sometimes it doesn't strike, and so you use it like a match, and you literally strike like a match. Perfect. 
That's it. That is your first practice welding. So if you're going to weld a straight line across there, and it will want to stick. Okay, when you okay. jam it in there, it'll stick. And you can go to crack and you'll put tug away at it and it'll be, you know, like a mess. It's all about keeping it roughly at the same height, but it's about feel. If you feel it sticking, move it away a bit. If it's not working too well, it's not striking out, push it in a little bit. Try not to touch the edge, the piece of metal, and all it is is practice doing that. Yeah? Right. Awesome. Yeah. Your turn now. Perfect. You go, Mel China? Remember, working on something is all about your position at it. So get yourself at a comfortable position. You'll notice I'm like, I hear. That's because I'm right handed, I can see everything. I'm not trying to do it like that, and I'm not trying to do it like that. I'm, I've got myself in a good position, okay? So yeah. find yourself a good position. Okay. I'm just going to stand over here. Hang on a second, just going to put the safety shield up. Yeah. <laughs> Need the blast proof sheet door. <laughs> okay, so is it all on? It's all on. I didn't turn it off. It's all on. Perfect. Yeah, go for it. Don't press. No. no. Just poke it out the metal. <laughs> Use that hand, hold the rod about halfway down. Yes. That's it. And poke that with the metal. Okay. Strike it. There you go! How about that? Oh. <laughs> You're stuck. You got it. That's it. Okay, stop that. So what you're doing is you're waggling around with it. You can yeah. see you put the metal in lumps. Yes. Alright, yeah. so try not to waggle around like that. Get your pool of metal going. Mm -hmm. You'll see it as a red pool. Yep. And then just draw it gently, keeping that pool going. Okay. I don't know how you do the striking from it. Seems to be up. There you go, like a mat. Lovely. Keep your rod moving, feeding in. Don't let your rod burn away. Moving a bit too quick. Hold on a sec. Yep. Cool. Oh, hey, he's laying metal. I'm getting he's there. laying metal. He's getting there. Yeah. Definitely getting Remember, there. This, the metal that's on there is coming from here. Yeah. So as that gets bigger, this gets shorter. Right. So you have to feed the rod in a little bit to make sure that that metal continues uh. to be laid in. Otherwise, it just gets longer and longer. And what you get is this stuff. This is called spatter. Yeah. And that spatter happens as your arc gets longer, it gets colder and harder to form, and you go and you throw stuff out, oh. so you get spatter, okay? So it's eating it away, so you need to feed your rod in. Now, good welders just use one hand. Shitty welders like me hold it here and here, yeah. so that we've got a bit more control over it. So right at the beginning, you should aim for it one hand. Yeah. But right at the beginning, it doesn't hurt just to hold a little bit, just give you a bit more control over it as you load them out. Gotcha. Go for it. Do that you are, and then you're going to try and weld two bits together. Nice and gentle, feed it in, watch the red line, not too quick. Yeah. Look at that, look at that, oh look at this! Natural. It is, bloody hell! Okay, stop that. Hey! Hey! I didn't even see what I was doing that well. <laughs> so a little bit slower, yep. and more even. Okay. So you went a bit quick there. Well, you did. So here you went slow, yep. then you sped up, then you thought, crap, I'm going too quick, so you stopped. So you thought, no, that's a bit slow, and so you sped up, yeah? Yeah. So I can see your life story here. <laughs> what you get to do is you get the same even speed. You'll see that red, and you just need even speed just to let the red run into each other. So try and draw straight lines slowly uh, where you're going to get that line of metal. Gotcha. Surprisingly, it's more difficult than I thought. It's nice and easier than you think. Yeah, that is well. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to be so exaggerated with your stride. That's just so you get the, the first job at it, yeah? There you go, look at that. Now move your rod in. 
You did. Keep moving your rod down. Move your rod down. That's it. Look at yeah. the kids juggling go now. Move your rod down. Holy hey. Hannah! Oh. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging there, mate. Don't leave me hanging. Hey! <laughs> Turn your machine off. Oh, you started with that one. Now borrow your gloves? Yes. Cheers, I hit it. I did get the right button, okay. You did, it just takes a little while to discharge That's itself. Really Cheers. I'm quite happy with that one actually. I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. No, no, we're gonna weld some more in a minute. <laughs> there we go, there we go. That is Dave's third weld in his life. I mean he's probably born a welder, hey? But once he got used to really just not rushing at it then that's one of the keys. Just don't rush at it. Take your time. And if you're still doing something a little wrong, no, wrong's a too pejorative of a word. Something that would help a bit is what you do when you're striking is you're going like this. Mm -hmm. and, and that's great because initially it gets you going, okay? Yeah. But obviously what you're aiming for is um, like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're not going all over here. You don't have so far to... You've got a little thing like that. Or, if you like, like that. If it's wobbly, like that. Just move it back into its groove. Just keep in the groove, man. Keep grooving. That's it. And sometimes it's like that will do it. Oh, okay. Where you can just get it going and you give, you give, and then you go straight from there where you've got it going. So that is a bit too much of them, but you yeah. know, great to get you going. Okay. But, okay, so what we're going to do is just do a little bit thinner welding. So it's about, hmm, about a millimetre thick. And we're going to weld these two bits of angle together so you've welded something real together, okay? Now you should always clean it. It always makes a better job. I mean, it will burn through paint and all that sort of stuff, but a bit of a clean like that makes it a nicer job. Now, you're going to be sticking, you're going to be trying to uh, weld, and it's going to pull all over the place. So, put a load of wax on it just to make sure that it can't move. So, a big old pile of steel on there, line that up, big old pile of steel, and you're ready to go. So, when it does stick, not everything's going to move, and you're going to be able to just go straight back to it. Okay, there's also another really good tip. If you bang the end of your rod, uh, rod on the ceramic, it helps strike an arc much easier. Uh, good point. The, this stuff on the outside, it's flux, so it's insulating. And you can see it's built up at the end there, and the metal's actually inside the flux, so it's a bit harder to get a, an arc going. If you knock the flux off, then you've got a little bit of bare metal, and so it's much easier to get the arc going. But remember, that bit now has no flux on it. So you don't yeah. want to go all the way up there, just, just knock a little bit off, just makes striking easier. Okay, so the only thing you've got to do now is put the negative on to your piece of work, which is clump it around about there, and you're aware to go, mate. You're going to weld that bit there. That's oh, you want them? Yeah, that's how I need those. You do need those. What's that meant? What's the speed numbers again? They're the amps. They need to be lower because it's thinner. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah. 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 Probably the first third. A bit Sounds good to me. Yeah. If it doesn't, it doesn't strike easily and sticks a lot. Turn it up. Mm -hmm. And if it burns through, turn it down. Got so you right thinking, and we'll see how it goes. It's only practice, you know. You only find out when you're doing it. Yeah. Go. There you go. Turn it off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, push it all back. Get lined up again. Don't be afraid to hold the metal. Not, not, you know, if it gets hot, nothing else is going to happen. Don't be afraid to hold it. Get it back to the there you go. 
There you go. Yeah. Look at me go. Yeah. Okay, you're burning that beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> Just noticed that when I took it <laughs> That's a lovely burn right there, okay? Beautiful. That's obviously where you've held it too long, and it is actually a bit hot, okay? Yes. Also, here, can you see where the cool is actually dipping down? And so, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so when you welded, you came that way with it, when you mm -hmm. wanted to go that way with it, okay? So you right. actually swept out that way, and that's meant that it missed here. Okay. Okay, and then you've held it too long, in and too hot, which is why you burnt all this metal away, and all this metal is now cooled in there. Uh, but to be honest, mate, you take the weights off, you should find that hole together. Turn it over. Oh, yeah, for you, shall I? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, mate, no. take your weights off. So have a look at that bad boy. Remember, always wear your gloves. It's red hot, okay? Always wear your gloves. Burn it. Da da! Da <laughs> 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 okay, so that's weld number four, and okay, you know, you've got a way to go, but you can actually weld. I mean, you're not going to call yourself yeah. a welder anytime soon, but you can weld. You can All right, Matt, let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good weld, eh? Well, good job. Sturdy that's a job. Yep. That together, and making that barbecue is going to be a piece of cake for you. Hopefully uh, so. This stuff, this dross, that black, that knocks off with a hammer and leaves you some nice shiny metal. Ooh. Awesome! Fair enough, very nice! Any <laughs> questions, mate? I think that was it, actually. It's all covered. It's easy, isn't it? Yes, yeah, really surprisingly to, easy. To get going. To get going, yeah. yeah for it's any quality, it's going to be a lot of work. It but. is, yeah, yeah. But just, just to get something stuck together, then, no, nah, it's a piece of cake. And, and you've learned to weld in, what, 10, 15 minutes? Exactly that. Time, right. time of the video. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Okay, guys, so... The whole point was to show you, really, in a tutorial kind of way, how easy picking up welding can be. The biggest thing, I keep saying it, is just don't be afraid of getting in there. The thing gets hot, the thing throws off sparks, and that can be scary. Just get in there, give it a go, a little bit of practice. I mean, Dave has four welds and he's doing the job. A little bit of practice and you'll be a welder. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for coming along, mate, and thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.